Are you ready for this? Cameras are good. Here we go. Are your cameras on? It's showtime, baby. Jeff, my man, it is good to see you again. I want to make sure you introduce yourself in case there's somebody watching this video who might be living under a rock and didn't see one of your two previous interviews on this channel. How would you introduce yourself to somebody who's never heard of you before? Hey, yo, I am Jeff from Boston. I am a SBSK legend. I'm back. What's going on, dude? I am great, Chris. How are you? I have been keeping busy. What have you been doing to keep busy? I have been listening to audio books. I am on the second Artemis Fowl book and doing Hatchet. I have been walking a mile or at least I try to. I am sort of painting but I lost interest. I am also gaming on my PS4. I am lazy and watch TV or play PS4 in the power recliner in the basement. I think it's okay to be lazy right now. I've been lazy a lot the past few months and that involves playing video games too. I think you and I might have even won a game of Fortnite together the other month. My man, that was legendary. And you crushed me in Madden twice, so I am gonna get revenge if I get a PS5. What have you been up to these days? I've been hanging out at home exercising a lot, really just unwinding, waiting for this whole thing to pass over. I'm just trying to make the best out of the situation. I want to check in on your mental health too. Are you doing well? Are you happy? Yes, I am. I am happy, but getting bored. Before we continue, I want to take a trip down memory lane. Are you ready for this? Now, first, we're going to go back three years in time to the very first time we met. Look at that, my man! You only have, like, the bottom half of my face there. But you get to see my nose. Now, I got to ask you, what did you think the very first time you saw me come in with my checkered shirt, my suspenders? You must have thought that I was, you know, some kind of fashion guru, right? Actually, I thought you were a celebrity. Why did you think that? Because I saw cameras. Well, let's give context to people who don't know how we met. I was filming interviews at a school and you were a volunteer there. So do you want to tell people how you got your very first interview? It wasn't planned. It kind of just happened on the spot. I met Mr. Chris and I came with a note with a message. You came up to me and handed me a note and it said, will you interview me? So I remember, I just said, yeah, let's do it. Why not? And I was setting up my camera. And as I was setting it up, I was thinking to myself, all right, well, obviously this dude's smart, but how is he going to communicate in an interview? Am I going to ask you a question or are you going to hand me a note? So I remember I was thinking all these things while I was setting up my camera. And I was sending it up, and then out of the corner of the, my ear, I hear, is this loud enough? And you were typing on your machine. I didn't realize you had a, a assistive technology. So then when I heard that, I thought to myself, okay, well, this is going to be a fun and easy interview. We've had a friendship for three years now. Do you still think I'm a celebrity? I think you're a celebrity too, man. 
I'm really glad we met that day. Me too. All right, so that was three years ago. And now we have our latest interview, just last year, a little over a year ago. And there we are. Look, we're all grown up. Jeff, I must say, we grew into two fine, fine men. And now that we took that trip down memory lane, are you ready to return to our interview? <laughs> Dude, your dog is so cute. Does he just hang out on the bed with you? She's deaf, but a good girl. This series is called the How Are You series, and we're calling all our friends while we're all stuck inside together. So I wanted to ask you, Jeff, why do you think it's important to call your friends and ask them, how are you? I think it's very important to check on our family and friends and say, hey, yo, what's up? What's shaking, baking? How are you? Have you called your friends and family and asked them how they're doing? No? <laughs> Why not? We text each other or Zoom. Oh, gotcha. It's easier for you to communicate through texting. With everything going on in the world right now, have you been, like, watching the news and staying updated with everything, or are you just kind of, like, in your own bubble? I stay away from news unless it's wrestling, movies, or sport related. Why do you stay away from news? I am not a news guy. Once things go back to normal, what's the first thing you're going to do? The first thing I will possibly do is return to my day program and see my friends. We have been on lockdown since mid-March. We don't have clue when it will reopen, but we are Zooming, FaceTiming, and Skyping with our staff. I want you to take a moment and explain what a day program is for people who don't know what it is. It's a place where you learn how to get jobs or be independent. What has it been like for you not to be able to go to your day program? Not being able to see my friends is hard. It stinks not being able to see our friends in person, but I'm glad stuff like this exists so we can hang out and talk online. Do you have any plans for the summer? Our beach is potentially not happening. Are you bummed out about that? Do you like the beach? If you're going on vacation, where would you prefer to go? Take a wild guess. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say Disney World. I've known you too long, Jeff. Why do you love Disney so much? Because, as Walt would say, it's the happiest place on Earth and it all started with a mouse. I just noticed I have a wind sticking out on my hair. Dude, we're too far into the interview now. You just have to embrace it. A little self-acceptance and self-love. <laughs> you know what? Just so you're not alone. My man. We're in this together, Jeff. We're in this together. Also, I got my new glasses in March. I really like them. They look really nice. Do you know I wear glasses too? Would you like to see them? I can't see or read, like even this close in front of me, without my contacts or glasses. But if you want to see, I'll take out my contacts and put on my glasses real quick. Hold on. Three. Two. One! 
Let me clean them off. Well, Jeff, it's always great to see your smiling face. Stay cool, Jeff. Stay cool. Two legends and brothers unite. It does always feel like a homecoming when we get the chat, Jeff. Let's do it again soon, all right? I'll text you, my brother. Peace.